we can go ahead and start the live stream. As we gather here for worship, we are mindful that we who are here in the building are not the only ones worshiping with us. Those who are online are also worshiping with us in this same time. And so we will, at times, possibly need to stop, start, redo, repeat, if it's necessary for things that are happening online. So please be patient with us as we work through all of these things and we gather in a way that makes sure that everyone who is present is participating and able to know what is going on in worship. As we uh, gather here in the building, uh, we do have some new guidelines that we are adhering to. One is, uh, rejoicefully, we have decided that we will go ahead and allow singing. If you are vaccinated and here in the building, or if you are at home, sing along with us, joyfully. If you are not yet vaccinated, but here in the building, please refrain from singing because we do recognize that the aerosols put us at higher risk if you're not yet vaccinated. Uh, those who are um, here for communion will receive communion here in the building. Uh, there will be a station in the front and a station in the back. Those who are at home, I invite you now to gather your staple food and your festive drink as you set your altar and prepare your sacred space to gather with us here in worship today. As we prepare our hearts, we remember that we here at Emmanuel are a reconciling in Christ, open and affirming congregation who aspires to be anti-racist because we know that it is a journey and not a destination. As we journey here through Advent, we journey with hope, with anticipation, with love, and with peace. Welcome to worship. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, who alone does wonders, who lifts up the lowly, who fills the hungry with good things. Amen. Let us confess our sin, trusting in the tender mercy of our God. God, for whom we wait, in the presence of one another, we confess our sin before you. We fail in believing that your good news is for us. We falter in our call to tend your creation. We find our sense of self in material wealth. We fear those different from ourselves. We forget that we are your children and turn away from your love. Forgive us, blessed one, and assure us again of your saving grace. Amen. Amen. 
God in Christ Jesus has looked with favor upon you. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, your sins are forgiven. You are children of the Most High, inheritors of the eternal promise, and recipients of divine mercy. God strengthens you anew to follow the way of peace. The presence of God, the love of Christ, and the gift of the Holy Spirit is with you all. And also, and also with you. you. Oh, come, oh, come, At every beginning, there is a yearning for the one who is coming, O Emmanuel. Prepare for us for your coming. We gather together to get ready for what? Only heaven knows. O Emmanuel. Prepare us for your coming. We wait for the day when God will create a prevailing peace on earth and natural born enemies turn into newborn friends. O Emmanuel, prepare us for your coming. We get ready for God to come close by, laying our lives open to Jesus, asking him to sort through all our mixed motives. O Emmanuel, prepare us for your coming. Jesus, we welcome your presence now with the lighting of these candles, whose flames bring warmth to winter, and fill this place with the glow of hope. Amen. Children's work, it's time for children's work in your living room. It's time for children's work, it's time for children's work right here, right now. It's time for children's work, it's time for children's work in your living room. So we don't have any time to do with this today, so we're going to take off our masks. Okay. Hey, kids.
kids, welcome back to The Jesus Show. As always, I'm your host, Imani, a real PK. And today I'm joined by the wonderful Pastor Priscilla Paris Austin. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. <laughs> today is the second Sunday of Advent. As you will see if you have the pre-reader or reader kids bulletin. And today we're gonna talk a little bit more about Advent and what that means here at our church. Awesome. So what does so what's your favorite tradition here at Emmanuel Imani? Ooh, well, probably the one we talked about last week being the giving tree. Okay. It's I feel like it encapsulates the spirit of Christmas. That's nice. But what about this that's sitting here on the t on the table? That's probably my second favorite. I thought it and might be. I feel be. like that's also something that um, our family particularly has been doing for a while. It's a little nativity scene that we will be building up as Advent season goes along. Right now mm -hmm. we have the nice, what's it called? Manger. Manger. The stable. The stable. stable. The stable. There's hay and wood and, mm -hmm. yeah. Right. And Mary. <laughs> And if you look around the sanctuary, you will see that we've actually already set up our manger with the animals. And if you look up top, who's there watching us? Mary and Joseph. Wow, Mary yeah. and Joseph. So yeah. they're already together? They're already to well, okay. they're together up there, right? They're together up there, which means they, they need to get together over here, right? Yeah. Okay, so where's our box? Oh, Pull out yes. our characters, yep. My favorite part. Okay, I take it back. This is my favorite tradition. <laughs> okay, okay. So here we are. Here we have our box. Get to open it up. Okay. I'm gonna go through this. So maybe you can add one prop and one character. One prop and one character? Yes. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So first we have Joseph. Ooh. Mm -hmm. ah. And Mary. How cute. And, ooh, which prop do we want to add today? Ooh, let's see. Don't overthink it. Ooh, it's too late. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, We're going to add, wait, do animals count as props? I don't no, think so. No, you can put animals up later, but let's, let's, put the, let's put the prop and then you can add the animals too. Okay, okay. Today's prop is going to be, this one's my favorite. It's a little basket with fruit and fish and wheat. Oh, so that means you're pulling out the wagon then. Both? Yeah, well yes. you have to. You gotta put, put it in the, in the wagon, right? There right. you go. And, and who's holding the wagon? The donkey. There you go. <laughs> I right. found a loophole so I could get three. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's the baby donkey. Where's the grown-up donkey? <laughs> I can't find the grown-up donkey. <laughs> okay, okay, so we have the baby donkey. There you go. Very nice. I love our little Advent scene. Yes, that's our little Christmas scene. All right. And yes, it's scene. not ethnically appropriate, correct, right? Yeah. It is, the, you know, it is a little people Fisher Price. It's what we have available to us. But yeah, at least one of the kings are black. And so we do have we do have other characters in yes. there of color. Yes. <laughs> and yes. Ducks. <laughs> and ducks. Yes. But that's a whole other story. <laughs> that's for another a whole week. other story for another day. Exactly. Exactly. And so that's our practice for today. And as we listen to uh, the gospel story today, we will hear um, the story continuing, and we will continue to grow our manger scene there, as well as in the, uh, in the fold of the sanctuary. All right? And one last thing. If you have one of these little Advent calendars, today is the 5th of December, so you can open all the way up to door 5, if you don't know, it starts, there's one, and then two, three, okay, we got this, four, one more, five, okay, here we go, ooh, it's in Spanish, okay, Un pueblo que camina por el mundo gritando, Ven, Señor, un pueblo que busca en esta vida la gran liberación. Un pueblo que camina. The people walk. ELW 706. Amen. And that's it for today. All right. And remember, 
God made you quirky, and he loves you a large amount. Deuces! Goodbye. <laughs>
to a Judean town. There she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. Now, when Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. Elizabeth exclaimed with a loud cry, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. From where does this visit come to me, that the mother of my soul reign comes to me? Look, as soon as I heard the sound of your greeting in my ear, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. Now blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of those things spoken to her by the Holy One. The Gospel of the Lord. O oh, gracious God, may we have the wisdom to remember that you made us exactly as who we are, and may we have the courage and the strength to find the words to make dearly known your good news to all. Amen. Finitium capax infinity. Finitium capax infinity. The finite is capable of the infinite. The finite is capable of the infinite. Do you hear it? Do you feel it at times? The Holy Spirit moving through your bones, dancing and singing within, coursing through you, calling us through the rhythms of our daily life. The Holy Spirit moves through the ebb and flow of our hardships, ardently carrying us through the challenges we face, calling us to find joy amidst despair, promising us to find that which is infinite buried deep within each of us. Finitium capax infinity, the finite is capable of the infinite. Each of our bodies, though finite, though bound by different limitations, have been wholly constructed by God Found within our finite bodies are the infinite matter of the Holy Creator, infinite matter that is limitless, grace that is boundless, holiness that is godly. For that which is infinite within me is infinite within you, within your mothers, fathers, our parents, grandparents, children, siblings, neighbors, friends, strangers, pets, animals, plants, mountains, oceans, yes, all beings are infinite. Each being is called and promised. You are called and promised. Finitium, capax, infinity, the finite is capable of the infinite. This morning, we heard stories of God's call and promise in our reading. In our first reading from the book of Genesis, we hear of God's blessing upon Sarah. God says she will become nations. We hear the blessings of Hagar's child who will become a great nation. A covenant with God is built through Sarah and Hagar a promise that will continue to bear abundance to future generations to follow. In our psalm, we hear, Give ear, my people, to my teaching. Incline your ears to the utterance of my mouth. I wonder, as we sit with this reading, what does it mean to hear the covenantal promise be made to women within the Bible? How different are these utterances? How different are these statements being spoken out of our mouths as we incline our ears to hear God? I wonder if we are ready to hear God's call, 
to hear God's call within our whole body and in anticipation for God's promise to be fulfilled within us. As the Advent season unfolds before us, behold the already and not yet. As we long for Jesus' arrival, we are strengthened in the faith that Jesus has already resurrected and risen. As we listen to the stories of women, of voices that are not often heard, of voices that have been suppressed and oppressed by the dominatrix of power and oppression, I wonder what it means to continue to unveil other voices that have been calling out Are we listening to their voices? As we read stories of miraculous birth, conception, and children, may we do so tenderly and with care, as not everyone's experiences are the same. The hardships of infertility, miscarriages, and child loss may impact members of our communities and families in ways that are known and unknown as well. Their stories are just as important. They are too called. They are called and promised by God in every single way. Finitium capax infinity. Each of our bodies are sacredly created and formed by the Holy Creator. May we remember to not equate womanhood solely to motherhood. May we remember to not equate womanhood with bodies that only menstruate. That femininity is felt differently from person to person. Femininity is lived different from person to person. Femininity looks different from person to person as they choose to express it, as they choose to identify by it, as they choose to be called by it. May we lift up the stories of trans women, women with intersex, women that define themselves as they choose, as God has wholly made them and created them. Infinitium capax infinity. We are formed fabulously by God. We are called by God. We are promised to God. A call and promise that is found within each of us. As climate change devastatingly impacts the world around us, hotter summers, wetter and colder winters, may we acknowledge that the ways in which we impact that which is seen and unseen. Buying and producing things just because it will make our life easier. Fulfilling our need for consumption without considering where each product is coming from. Who sits at the leadership table of those companies and organizations? How are the people amongst those organizations and companies being paid? What is the impact of sustainability from that item's origin? Where does our food and products come from? Whose hands have handled them? How are those, the people whose hands they belong to treated? Finitium, capex, infinity. The devastating effects of climate change are per- pervasive and entrenched in gender inequality, heat waves, drought, rising sea levels and extreme weather patterns disproportionately affect women, those who do not identify as men. The United Nations names worldwide women to be the most impacted by climate change. 70% of the 1.3 billion people living in conditions of poverty are women. Women have less access to basic human rights They have less ability and access to freely move. They are met with barriers to acquiring land. Women face systematic violence, especially during periods of instability and chaos. How are we listening to their stories? How are we raising awareness and responding to their stories through our own daily lives? How are we learning about the love that is birthed? in each person. Did you know that in many places in the global south, the the fight against climate change is also being led by women, by women of color, leaders, 
like Hindu Omaru Ibrahim, an indigenous activist for the Mamboro pastoralist community in Chad. Tessa Khan, who had been living in northern Thailand. Tessa Khan co-founded the Climate Litigation Network to use the law and courts to apply pressure to national governments concerning climate change. I urge you to go out and learn more about the women, about the women of color who are leading the fight against climate change. We are all intricately connected. We are all globally connected, interconnected. The call and promise is found within each person all over the world, as well as nationally and locally, yet we do not treat each other as such. A study done in December 2020 from Self Finance ranked Seattle number five amongst the largest pay gap by gender within metropolitan cities. A study in 2015 by American Community Survey in 2015 revealed that within Seattle, for people with a high school degree, women make 84 cents on the dollar compared to men. For people with a bachelor's degree, women make 72 cents on the dollar compared to men. For people with a graduate or professional degree, women make 68 cents on the dollar compared to men. To know that each being is finite and infinite all at once, means that we are also called to acknowledge when our ways of life are life-threatening, life-devastating for other beings, then we are called to find new ways of living, living, <laughs> new ways of leading, new ways of making decisions, new ways of being present for others in the world, new ways of hearing other stories, new ways of telling our own stories, and the ways our stories impact others. The decision to share our stories, the decision to listen to other stories, the decision to lift up stories and that which is happening, though we are called, is not always easy. It is difficult and hard at times. Yet God calls us. God's promise lives on within each of us emboldening us to make room to allow the Holy Spirit to work through us in little ways, in big ways. In our Gospel reading, we read about Mary visiting her cousin Elizabeth. Mary, who had conceived when she had not been sexually intimate with a man. Elizabeth, in her old age, after years of trying, had conceived. Prior to Mary's visit, Elizabeth had remained in seclusion for the last six months. I wonder the feelings Elizabeth may have experienced during that time of seclusion, the challenges that Elizabeth must have faced while also holding the joy and excitement of having a child, the questions that must have poured through her, why her, why now, the wondering, same like when we ask, why us, why me? Why now? Then, for Elizabeth to hear Mary's arrival, to feel the baby within her womb leaping with joy, the rush of, sen the rush of sensation as she felt the Holy Spirit fill within her, smiling with euphoria as she exclaimed, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit among your, sorry, blessed is the fruit of your womb. I imagine Mary exclaimed back, Elizabeth, you too are blessed as well. I imagine them sharing stories. Stories of the hardships that they faced. Discussing the challenges they knew they would face in the future. And yet I imagine them noticing the Holy Spirit filling within them brimming them with hope as the babies leap with joy within them. As they are filled with hope amongst one another's coming company, may we too so boldly remember that we are each blessed, that we are too finite and intimate, that a call and promises a promise resides within each of the pores of our very being that with God anything is possible 
if only we are willing to listen and to respond, to move bravely in spaces that make our hearts shake and our bodies tremble, to join this together despite that which divides us and makes things difficult at times, hard, to listen for the voices that have been veiled, to lift up the stories that have been untold and told and suppressed, to empower women facing hardships and struggles, to empower women to lead the way. to wrestle and to struggle, to learn what that means for each of us, to ask questions that raise up answers that lead us to more questions, that lead us to affirm God's call and promise that resides within each of us. Finitium, satax, infinity. Amen. of gracious leadership that allows us to return to these in-person community activities. Hear us, O oh God. 
Your, your mercy, mercy is, great. is great. Send your spirit to all living creatures that are in danger. Provide them with shelter and care and bring us into a right relationship with the earth that you create and call good. We pray that the damage we have done to our climate and environment can be reversed. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy, mercy is, is great. great. Send our leaders, and you can be a leader, to our nations, cities, schools, and businesses to work on behalf of those who have lost their parents, spouses, and loved ones, to work for immigrants, the imprisoned, those living in poverty, and all who are oppressed. Make them bold in their commitments to justice and reconciliation. And we pray for not only those in our far-flung regions of the country and the world, but also those we see here in our midst at, with, with ICS, next door at Compass Cascade, and throughout the Seattle area. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy, Your mercy is, is great. great. Send your servants to care for those who suffer. Use our ministries and our lives to reach out with compassion to those who are hungry, oppressed, lonely, or ill. Grant them healing and wholeness. We pray for many people. We pray for the family and friends of Ben, of Isaiah, and of Lori. We pray for those impacted by COVID, for those here in Seattle for cancer treatment, for families in the foster care system, for families of murdered and missing indigenous women, and missing and mur murdered transgender people. We pray for those close to us, those in the care of our synod, those with flooded homes like around Emmanuel Lutheran and Everson in Whatcom County. We pray for Mark, Claudia, and Braun, for Ken, Liz, and Carmen. We pray for Heinz, who is uh, Mateo's gym coach who had recently had a heart attack. And we pray for anyone who you are now thinking about. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy is great. Send prophets to speak difficult truths, even when they are poorly received. Embolden those who ask hard questions and challenge accepted ways. Instill in youth and elders alike a passion for pointing to Jesus in all things. Remember that we can be prophets to someone in need. And we remember your saints, both those publicly celebrated and those more humbly remembered. Confident that your work will be completed, we live in faith until the day of your coming. Hear us, O oh God. Your mercy, mercy is great. great. God of new life, you come among us in the places we least expect. Receive these prayers and those of our hearts in the name of Jesus. Amen. you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to God.
All praise to you, glorious God of grace. Throughout the ages, you have blessed us with four mothers of the faith. With Sarah, we bless you for the gift of life. With Ruth, we praise you for family and food. Remembering Hunia, we thank you for those who minister among your people. With Mary, we magnify your name. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my faith, Savior. Remembering Martha and Mary, we join Jesus at this meal. Living, he healed the bleeding woman. Dying, he cared for his mother. Risen, he sent Mary Magdalene on mission. On the night before he died, he took bread. He gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to all who were gathered there with him. And the disciples, their spouses, the cooks and the cleaners, the keeper of the upper room, the one who would betray him, the one who would deny him, the one who would doubt him, the ones who would abandon him, and the ones who would sit at the foot of the cross. And he said to them all, take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this and remember me. After supper, he took the cup. And when he had given thanks, he gave it for all who could drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this and remember me. With Mary again, we magnify your name. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. Mighty God of mercy, as you heard the prayers of Hannah, so now hear us. Send your spirit on this bread and wine that the sharing the body that sharing the body and blood of Christ we become his body in the world. Send your spirit on the church that like Anna we will tell others of your mercy. Send the spirit into our hearts that like Dorcas we care for the poor and needy. With Mary once more we magnify your name. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. All praise to you, powerful God of peace. We adore you, God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, you who mother and feed and comfort us today, tomorrow, and forever. Amen. Amen. We pray together the prayer that Jesus taught us in the words from those who lie beyond the margins. Our mother that inhabits the earth and waters the floors and colors the skies, blessed are the names with which we call you and blessed are the fruits you provide. May justice come to your children and may there be a fullness together with a dignified and good life. May your riches be shared with equity so that there is no lack of bread, rice, yam, potato, milk, or wine on any table or on any street. Forgive us the abuse and the agrochemicals and the immoral failing, the waters we poison, the contaminated air. Lead us not into the perverse temptation of greed and lust, of pride of power, and the arrogance of wealth, because yours is the memory of the loving Creator and the present of the struggle of abundance and the future of all hope. Amen. As we distribute communion here in the building, Rachel and I will meet be down in the front and Bree and Sherry Ann will be in the back. Those who the ushers will guide you to the station which is closest to you so that we will then commune 
utilizing the most no-contact format that we have been able to create. The gifts of God for the people of God.
Let us pray. Most high God, you have come among us at this table. By the Spirit's power, form us to be bearers of your word, sharing gifts of mercy and grace with all, through Christ Jesus, our host and our guest. Amen. The God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing so that we may abound by hope, in hope, by the power of the Holy Spirit through Christ Jesus for whom we wait. Amen. Amen. Community time announcements. Hello, I'm Kevin, and uh, here's the community time announcements for this week. Um, uh, let's see, first of all, if you haven't had a chance to sign the... Um, Oh, what's that called? Pledge to Care. Thank you. Uh, there's still time. It's in the back of the sanctuary. And uh, just a big thank you to everyone who is uh, doing all the things it takes to, to have us all safely gather together from ushers to video team to um, um, altar care and everything. So if you have capacity to help with that, um, it would help also make sure that there's enough people um, for every week. So. Uh, if you have capacity for that, please let um, myself or Pastor or Candy at the office know, um, and that would be great. Um, let's see. This week on Monday is Food Bank at 10 a.m., and uh, 7 p.m. is Bible Exploration, so you can find information on that uh, in the bulletin online, um, in the, the emails. On Wednesday, seven or 6.30 is Advent Devotions, and next Sunday is... Uh, church just like today um, with uh, uh, live stream and in person. Uh, also uh, look for the Advent and Christmas services. Uh, there's information on that online too, but we've got the, the blue Christmas uh, service coming up on Wednesday, December 22nd in the evening. Uh, Christmas Eve worship also on the 24th, of course. And then Lessons and Carols on the 26th. That will be online on YouTube. Um, and let's see. The Giving Tree uh, is up and available to uh, come and, and take something to share. I Is there an online version? Oh, cool. In the sign up for regular Sunday worship. Up at the top, there will be different tabs that you can sign up for Giving Tree. You could even sign up for Epiphany all the way into January and February. Lots of sign ups available, all in the same place. Excellent. Um, and then, uh, last an announcement um, oh, thank you, um, Rachel, for your words today. And uh, that reminded me that uh, Reconciling Works um, is the sort of the, the reconciling in Christ. Ish. Support system network? Yeah, yeah, okay. And um, they have uh, virtual classes um, that are starting next February, and one of them is on uh, 
sexual orientation and gender identity and expression. Um, so if you're interested in that, um, a virtual uh, thing is available through that. Uh, I think that's it. Anyone else? I think that's it. Cool. Thank you. Go in peace. Christ is near. Go in peace to God. The peace of Christ be with you always. And also with you. Oh, <laughs> my